Using synthetic division to divide polynomials. Synthetic division is a special way that we can divide polynomials, and we can only use it if a couple factors are occurring. So first and foremost, we have to have our look at our divisor. Okay? The degree of our divisor has to be 1, and what that means is we can only have a single x down there. There can't be any x squared, x cubed, anything like that. The other rule that we need is there can't be a coefficient in front of the x. So the coefficient has to be 1. Okay, so really what you need is your divisor, the denominator, to be of the form x plus or minus a number. Okay? Once you have those restrictions, we could then use synthetic division. For this particular example, we could actually simplify this even easier by using factoring. So let's just take a look at that, see what our answer should be, and then try synthetic division. So looking at this, we know that our numerator can factor. So we look and we say x plus 4, x minus 2 over x minus 2. Our x minus 2's cancel, and we're left with x plus 4. Okay, that's easy enough, and it actually will be easier than synthetic division, but I just want to show you that synthetic division actually works, and we can compare our answers when we're done. So how synthetic division operates is what you need to do is look at your divisor, look at your denominator, and figure out what number will make that 0. Okay, so here we have x minus 2. If we want this to be equal to 0, we would have to plug in 2. Take that number and write it down, and then make a sort of upside down bracket. Okay? From there, in the top of this bracket, we want to take the coefficients from our dividend, the new number in the num numerator. So our first coefficient is 1, our second coefficient is 2, and our last coefficient is negative 8. We need every single power of x to be accounted for. So if we're missing something, if this 2x wasn't here, we would still need a placeholder there. So we would need to put in a 0 just to make sure it was accounted for. Okay. Then what we do is, from this bracket, take your first number and just drop it down. Okay. So we just drop it down. From here, take the number on the outside, the number that made this 0, multiply it by the number we just brought down, so 2 times 1 is 2, and that goes here. So that will just go up once you multiply it. Then we add. Okay? 2 plus 2 is 4. And then repeat. 2 times 4, this becomes 8. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. That last spot represents our remainder. And then going up from our remainder, the next term over is our constant term. And then we increase on our x's. So this is our constant term, so that's just going to represent the number 4. Then going up, this will be 1x, or just x. We're adding, and so we divide this out using synthetic division. Okay. For this particular example, factoring would probably be easier, but hopefully in doing this we saw how synthetic division works and how we can apply it to more complicated problems.